Dr. Nirmal, where does this leave the infrastructure stocks? Because they, some of them are actually beaten down quite sharply. You've seen a, a, almost a collapse in a couple of the valuations over the last couple of months or so. Are they looking at attractive buys right now when we talk about the infrastructure stocks? I, by and large, no. Uh, the problem is that uh, many of them, because of delays and because of the problem that they face in the last three years, have become highly leveraged. You know, their interest just keeps getting compounded. And uh, many of them have become CDR cases. And many of them may become BIFR cases. So, unfortunately, some of the infrastructure stocks that have, uh, bo they, that bore the brunt of this entire policy paralysis and sort of dysfunctional administration in the government uh, will really find it difficult to recover. That is one. And the reason number two is that even now, although we hear that government is saying that we are clearing the project, we are clearing the project, but uh, the action at the ground level is very limited. Uh, like in case of power, Coal India is signing FSA, uh, but we have to see whether the coal supplies begin and when the power plants go on stream. And by then, the delay would have compounded their interest and the cost will go up. They may become unviable at the contract that they signed earlier. So there are a whole lot of issues with infrastructure. There may be some companies or some uh, you know, uh, entrepreneurs or enterprises that are le relative, relatively less leveraged and relatively less impacted, but you really have to find them. But by and large, sector uh, will face problems. And uh, it may take a few years before it can really come back. You know, when you know, we see that some of the companies... Uh, get restructured, some of them get consolidated, some of them, you know, uh, resuscitate themselves with, you know, fresh flow of capital and new orders, so it's going to take a while.